The world turned its eyes to Europa. The discovery of life galvanized humanity to act. We were those intrepid few. We're sitting down at the ID at Xbox Showcase here in San Francisco during GDC to get a look at a game called The Turing Test. And first of all, introduce us to it. What, what kind of game is this? Uh, the Turing Test is a first-person puzzle game uh, with a bit of adventure in there. And uh, effectively, you have to uh, do the Turing Test. And uh, discover if you're an AI or not, who is, who isn't. Um, the most in interesting part for me is the story. It, it's really cool. But the way you discover the story is by completing these human interaction tests, which are effectively puzzles. But uh, as you go through the game, you have to do... Uh, decipher sort of everything from like voice voiceover between a, com a conversation between you, uh, Ava, you're an a female astronaut, and um, Tom, who's the AI of the spaceship and the International Space Agency. Uh, so as you go through the game and complete these human interaction tests, uh, you'll come across uh, certain rooms like a uh, maybe a crew member's bedroom, and you'll be able to look at uh, everything in that room, just like in Gone Home, where you can kind of pick up and move around. You can do that in this as well. Uh, so maybe picking up a mug and just seeing like it's moldy inside and like they haven't been here for a while, all the way to you can read their emails or some letters from their parents or a letter they write every day to their daughter or their diary kind of thing. Um, so we at the top level we've got the most basic level of story, which is where we just kind of say like there's a, you have a moral decision in the game to choose who is the good guy and who is the bad guy, which is a really cool twist. Um, then you have the next level, which is just like the audio logs and video logs from uh, uh, from the members of the spaceship. Then on the bottom level, you have like the emails between uh, the planet Earth and the crew and between the crew members. And there's things like relationships between the members and uh, that kind of thing. So there's, there's all these levels of story that you can go back and play through and read into. And it's really, really cool, that level of story. But ultimately, the, the, the puzzles are great. Like the human interaction test part is just... Absolutely phenomenal, really. I, I, I've played the full game in like white box now, and it's amazing. I love it. Um, August 2016, we're coming out, and I am really excited to see the full thing. It's going to be great. I think you're going to have to pick up the controller there. We lost our player. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so what are we looking at here? Uh, here we're looking at basically just our demo. So it's, it's a, the first few puzzles in the game. Um, if we go back, here we go. So here there we are. Okay, so this is like a, a basic puzzle. If in this instance, hang on, you start out. Uh, let me just explain this. Sorry. Here we go. So we have two types of power here. In the full game, we have about eight types of power, but right here we have two. We have a power box, which you can move around, pick up, drop places, uh, use a magnet to pick it up. Even um, there's quite a few things you can do with it. In the gun, I have one power and I can shoot that in and out of these plugs and give power to things like doors and the magnets and massive pieces of machinery. So if I go and pick up this box to solve this puzzle, I put it in there, I put the power in here, and I run up the stairs. Uh, now what a lot of people do is they look down and they try and take the power of that box, but you can't take it out of the box, so the way to solve this puzzle is to go through, go forward, take the, the power out of there, take the box out, and put the, the reachable power in there, which means when you go back to the top, we'll be able to shoot the power and take it out. Um, which is, uh, you know, it, it's not a recurring thing. Like, we, you know, it gets really complicated some of these puzzles when we have like 10 powers in some of them. It's not just like two things. But, um, you know, here we got a, an example of the magnet. You're able to just move the magnet across, pick it up. We need to put two power boxes in to open this door so we can take the power of the magnet, pick up the box, plug the box in, now the door will open. Um, in this demo, we, we're not showing off the story because we don't want to give anything away because it obviously many reasons for that. But um, I, I'm guessing there are some existential uh, quandaries yes. to to <laughs> solve. Definitely, and uh, people that have been asking, but we've been keeping like our lips shut on this. Uh, we don't want to ruin the story at all because it, it is like really exciting. I think it's it's. And I guess it's sort of like a Pandora's box. Once you open it a little bit, it's it's all out there. Exactly, and. Um, that's not something you want to give away straight away. It's kind of a, we're keeping our cards to our chest, I'd say. But um, 
I think the cool thing is going to be the reviews when they come out. I think uh, from what the journalists we've spoken to already have really kind of been like, wow, that, that's that we've shown a couple of them the story and they've been like blown away by it. So I think when the full game comes out and people complete it and they're like, that was that was good. It's a you know good solid six and a half seven hour experience, and I think people are really going to be impressed with the story. I'm excited for that. So. Can you tell us a little bit about your background as a developer, what you've done before, and, and yeah. what the team is? So right now we're a team of 10 people. We're based in England. Um, we were one of the first developers on ID Xbox. Um, we made Numa Breath of Life. Um, now Numa was a game that went on Games of Gold. It was very successful. And um, we're really pleased with that. Uh, the response was really good, uh, averaging about a 7 out of 10, which uh, the amazing part is that we made this game in six months, right? And it's a massive, it's, it's the first UE4 game on Xbox One ever. So we were like trailblazing for people who are developing on UE4 now, finding issues, that kind of thing. And we did that then with a team of six. Um, people would work nine till five in our office and then they'd go home and then for like an hour and then they'd go back to work for seven. And they'd have 7 a.m., 7 p.m., sorry, till 4 a.m. in bars and clubs just to survive and then make it back to the office at 9 a.m. again. So I don't know how we did it, frankly, but... That was our kind of initial beginning. When Numa came out, it did well. We started working on the Turing test. Uh, we're getting ready to release that in August. We're now at 10 people. Um, come uh, this month, actually, we just announced Battalion 1944, which is our World War II first person shooter, going back to the gritty roots of like Call of Duty 2 and Enemy Territory and all these games. So it was really cool to be able to be working on three games now, have three games in our arsenal, and kind of be growing from there. So. It's kind of rags to riches story, and uh, for me, we've kept a lot of our talented guys around, so we're always able to keep making good games, and um, yeah, so good story for us. So, are you are you ten people spread on two projects now, or are you sort of growing to two teams? Or I would say uh, w because we're employing, we'll be, we'll be at twelve soon, and then we'll be at I think three people uh, on battalion initially, just building the foundations. Unfortunately, you have to keep this small team at the start. Just so we don't break anything, we keep everything like nice and secure. And then from the summer, we'll be developing battalion with a full ten-man, you know, a twelve-man team. So for us, we're just trying to make sure we do everything right first in um, in battalion. It's it's a game that needs to be done properly to compete with the big players like Call of Duty, where they can spend time on on really little things. So we need to just make sure the foundations are solid on this. So yeah. And for uh, Turing test, what what platforms are you targeting? Uh, for now, I can only say we're doing Xbox One, uh, Windows 10, and Steam. Uh, it, it's a timed exclusive on Xbox One and Windows, so for the first month, it'll be on uh, any Windows platform and uh, Xbox. And then after that, we'll uh, see what comes. But yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, the game, honestly, it's worth picking up. I'm really excited to just actually see the ending and play it myself. But for now, it's definitely... Uh, Definitely going to be a good game. I'm really excited about it. Those of you who played Numa, there's about two million downloads on Numa. Those of you who played that, this is like our this is our next puzzle game. And everything we learned from Numa, everything you guys said you enjoyed, wanted it to be harder, we put that in. We've we've listened and we've taken that on board, and it's going to be great. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for your time. No worries, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. But humanity grew fearful of our discovery. So now we're 400 million miles away from home with no hope. <laughs>